guys. This week, we are going to be doing a project that looks similar to what you're looking at right now. It is a project based on the artist Andy Warhol, who we talked about this week in our art Zoom class. Anyway, we're going to make a fun project much like this, so stay tuned, keep watching, and let's get to work. Peace! For this project, you will need two pieces of paper, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and colored pencils, or if you'd rather, you can use markers or crayons. So go ahead and gather your supplies. The first step for this project is to fold our paper into quarters. So what we will do is we will take our paper like this first, and we will go ahead and we will fold it in half, almost like you're closing a book. So go ahead and line up those edges and then put a crease. So now you have this folded like that. Don't open it up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it from the bottom and you're gonna fold it up, line up the edges along the top and then put a crease in it. Just like that. Then when you open your paper back up, you will see that your paper is divided into four quarters. So, just like that. So you're gonna wanna do um, this twice. You're gonna wanna do, fold it with your first piece of paper, and then you should have a second piece of paper, and you're gonna do exactly the same thing. You're gonna fold it into quarters. Go ahead and fold your paper into quarters. So you should have two pieces of paper that when you open them up, they look like this. Now the next step is you're gonna take one of your papers that you folded and you're going to cut along the crease so that you are cutting out just one rectangle from your paper. So you're just going to go ahead and cut that out like that and then you can set your other piece of paper to the side just in case you make a mistake on this one and then need to get another piece you would just cut it out so anyway this is what you need to do next and then you can set this piece of paper to the side so what you're going to do on this piece of paper is you're going to decide what object you would like drawn really pretty large in the middle of your rectangle. Now I've done a few, um, but you're only gonna choose one, but I just wanted to show you some examples. You could do a flower, an ice cream cone, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the laughing crying emoji because he's kind of my favorite emoji, but you can do anything you want as long as it fills up your paper and is pretty simple and will be simple enough to color in. So since I've already got him drawn, you're gonna go ahead and draw yours. And then, so you don't have to draw him and try to get him to look exactly alike each time. There's a little trick I can show you. So after you have your object drawn on your paper, you're gonna turn over your paper and you're gonna take your pencil and you are going to color on the back with your pencil of your paper. By doing this, um, it will allow you to trace your object onto your good piece of paper. So you want to press hard and you want to fill up that square so that you don't miss any parts of your drawing that's on the front. And you just want to go ahead and Color that in, press real hard so you get lots and lots of the graphite from your pencil onto the back of your paper. So it should look like that. But then when you flip it over, there is your drawing. Your next step is you're going to trace this guy or whatever you drew onto your paper. Now he should be the same size as the squares on your good paper. So that will make it easy for you to get him in the right position on your paper. So you just wanna line up your square or rectangle, I should say, in each rectangle up here and you wanna trace over him. 
I'm going to go ahead and do that in high speed. Once you have all of your objects traced onto your paper, um, and I should have added, make sure you're pressing hard when you're tracing so it'll show up. And if it seems like it's not transferring onto your paper, you can flip your paper over again, scribble some more on the back, and that'll put more graphite on, and then you should be able to finish tracing. So like I was saying, once you are done with that part, then you get to be creative with how you're going to color it in. Now, again, we are doing a project based on Andy Warhol, and so he did art like this and each of his panels was the same object, but it was colored in different ways. So you're going to get to be creative with how you color in each panel, but each panel should be different. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on mine in high speed and I'm gonna be using colored pencil, but you can use whatever you like to color yours in. Just make sure your entire paper is filled. All right, here we go. Okay, friends, well, that's all there is to our project for this week. I hope that you enjoy doing your Andy Warhol inspired project. Please remember to upload it to the art wall. And as always, I can't wait to see the wonderful creations that you did this week. Till next time, bye-bye.